and on to sound design 5.2. So if 5.1 will give us a something similar to a sawtooth wave in FM, then what we want to look at here is how to get a square wave. And again, this isn't so much about designing those specific sounds as it is a way to kind of wrap your brain around what causes these different waves to form in FM synthesis and helps you uh, with a, a starting place to designing your own sounds and when you hear something in your head being able to approximate it a, a bit easier. So I hinted at what uh, what was coming in the previous video but here we go again where we've got E feeding into F. So again right click or control click on the E operator and we're going to be feeding that as a modulator into carrier F. The difference now though is that rather than having E at the same frequency as F, we're going to double the frequency of E and we do so by setting a ratio of 2 to 1. So if F is coming in at 500 Hertz, E is going to be at 1000 Hertz for example. So I'm going to start off again with just holding down a single key and then introduce that modulator. Keep an eye on which harmonics are appearing here and of course keep an ear to what's going on. Aha, so clarinet-ish, if you will, similar to the clarinet sound that we achieved with an earlier sound design in the last chapter. But notice which harmonics are showing up here. This label is 1, 4, 8, 12, etc. But we can see that 2 is missing, so it's harmonic 1 and 3. 4 is missing, 5 is there. We have the odd harmonics, which is a strong characteristic of a square wave. And yeah, they're not descending perfectly linearly. That's, um, that's not something that we're going to be able to achieve in this way, but it is definitely hinting at a square-like sound, and that's the way you do it. Just double the frequency of the modulator relative to the carrier operator, and that's what you end up with. <laughs> 